Hey guys, I know this is a weird ass angle, but I am in a weird ass mood right now, so you're just gonna have to deal. Um, so I believe I left my cellular phone at home, which I find funny because I have weed, I have a uh, cigarillo, I have uh, this camera, obviously, I have my cup of coffee, I have money, I have a keyboard, I have a whiteboard, I have a cutting board. Just kidding, I don't have a cutting board. Um, but, uh, <laughs> that was good timing. It was good timing, and unfortunately, see, I'm on my way to do stand-up comedy, but I know that I am not going to be anywhere near as funny as I am right now in this car driving around looking fucking stupid because I'm driving in the dark and you can't even see my face. All you can hear is the chitter chatter and maybe you can make out my glasses somewhat. Can you see me better? Not really. Really you can see me because of the light behind me. That's the only reason why you can see me. And because of the other cars that are coming in the opposite direction. This is so fucking dangerous. It really is. And what's sad is that you have acquired a certain amount of apathy about everything. And you just no longer give a fuck about your life. <laughs> Whatever sanity you had left, you don't care. You're just like, fuck it. Back on the THC train. Choo choo. <laughs> so uh, Frank asked me recently, that's that word. That's not Amy Winehouse's Frank. <laughs> God, I love Amy Winehouse. I cannot stop listening to that bitch. And it's funny because like, you know, you go through phases where you just like listen to a lot of a particular artist. Well, you know, I went through that phase before with her and I'm going through it again, baby. And it's pretty awesome. I actually think that Frank is a better album than Back to Black. But that's just because it's more raw. I tend to like the most raw, honest album more than like the most popular album. Back to Black though is really good though. I'm not, I'm not knocking that. <laughs> Speaking of Back to Black, <laughs> get it? Well, we're always Back to Black, you know, considering the way that we act. Ha ha ha. Made it racist. But literally, it's black right now. Like, you can see my, you can see my frame somewhat. One of them. You can see one of my frames. <laughs> see, this is fun though, man. It's so much fun. Are we, are you having so much fun? I am. <laughs> we are. It's so weird that people say that their pronouns are they, them. I mean, I get it. I get the whole like, don't put me in a box, man. I get all that. You know, I've been doing that shit for a long time. I just never called it anything. <laughs> you know? Anybody in the vortex, like, have an idea or an experience or a label or, uh, I mean, I think a label is an idea. It's an extension of an idea. Um, has anybody in the vortex had something that was clearly theirs? And then people that wanted to be famous, people that wanted attention and validation and all that good stuff, those people, did you see that red light? That was cool. Did you just run a red light? I hope not. <laughs> okay, well, if you ran a red light, the person next to you did too, so I don't think that you did. I think that you guys are in the clear, but... Anywho, I probably should stop filming because I'm about to hop on the interstate and it's dangerous. Not that this isn't already, but um, anyway, did you, did you guys ever have an idea, an idea, a thought, an intention, uh, um, a notion, a label, something that was yours? and then people took it. They took it because they felt entitled to it. But you never really claimed it though. Like for me, I have, um, don't you guys love this? This is so creative. <laughs> 
No, this just means the end of art. This, this is what this is. The end of art. This is what... I'm going to call this video the end of art. Um, <laughs> really and truly, that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to be tempted to call it other shit, but we're calling it the end of art. And I've made up my mind. <laughs> Can't make up my mind on a lot of, a lot of other shit, but uh, here. There you go, you guys. Now you can see what I can. Yeah, so people kind of like freak out with honesty. They freak out when you're genuine. Um, that's always been a thing that people do. So this culture is annoying as fuck, but it doesn't surprise me in the slightest. I don't know what I'm talking, like from Minnesota. But, uh, yeah, this, this culture is so very boring because it's so very predictable. Um, and I gotta say, like... Drama is, uh... Drama has its place, I'll say that. Drama definitely has its place. And if all these people making the scene weren't doing that, you know, they'd probably commit suicide. So just, I guess just let them make the scene. <laughs> until they eventually do commit suicide because they've made so many scenes and none of them mean anything because they will never develop any self-awareness or any confidence or any, you know, logic. And, uh, I don't know. It makes me sad that society's this way, but at the same time, it's, it's just like, it's the way it is, man. And I don't expect to actually like change anything about society. Maybe I'll change somebody's mind every once in a while. Maybe I'll make people laugh, that's cool. Maybe I'll be able to expand somebody's mind a little bit, just ever so slightly. But I highly doubt that I'm going to like, I don't know. I just don't see it happening, at least not right now, where I'll just, you know, pull the mask off of some something horrible and make somebody realize something that um, wasn't, you know, previously something they would have realized without me. So, not to toot my own horn, because like I've said before, it's no horn to toot. Did y'all see that? Yes, they did. They actually saw that. They didn't just feel it. <laughs> They saw it. Yes, your driving sucks. <laughs> I have a vagina, you guys. I'm not sorry to have a vagina because I can control it. But sometimes I wish I had a dick. Oh, I wanted to make a correction. I'm going back to the dark. Because <laughs> my hand is hurting. I'm sorry, y'all. I wanted to tell you guys something. I'm not a transgender. I mean, I make a lot of jokes, <laughs> but just to clarify, like I have gender dysphoria and I think that that's the commonality between people that are either transgender or non-binary. However, non-binary is literally the exact opposite experience of transgender, aside from the gender dysphoria. So I just don't feel like a woman. Now a lot of this has to do with social norms, but it's also because, you know, a lot of people tell me that I act like I have a dick and, you know, I have a very masculine voice some of the time you know sometimes I do you know change my voice though just like I change my angles I change my perspective I just change the way that I talk about things I change the way that I look at things and that's fun you see you see why that's fun it's way more interesting than people just talking in the same voice about the same shit and not saying anything that matters. You know what I mean? I'm gonna end this video because I'm getting paranoid about cops and my pot cookie's really kicking in. Bye! Really? <laughs> I knew you weren't gonna end the video! Oh shit, look at, all, look at that guy. Look at that guy. See that? I always pray for those people. I say, hey God. Unless that person's a petter ass, please help them out. <laughs> but, okay, yeah, you knew you were gonna keep talking, bitch. You knew it. You fucking knew it. That's why you couldn't find the button on purpose. You did that shit intentionally, bitch. 
I did. Yeah, so like I said, I have my coffee, I have my smokables. Oh, by the way, I decided, and God helped me, God helped me with this one. He really fucking did. Because this is the original plan. You guys ever have an original plan, and then that original plan runs amok and ends up turning into another plan that's not very good? Um, <laughs> see, I wish that I could be this on stage, but unfortunately I can't. Unfortunately, my experience is going to be terrible tonight. I already know. Like, I'm getting sick just thinking about it. Yes, that's right. I'm driving to stand-up comedy. I'm forcing myself to do it. And that's what I'm realizing. I have to just force myself to do things, just like every goddamn thing else. God agrees with this. See, you have to just do stuff you don't want to do. See, this is like a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> just like listening to a podcast <laughs> okay maybe you should change the video it's like I tried doing a podcast <laughs> it's just you in the dark <laughs> driving around ranting about this or that yeah I get annoyed with myself y'all I get really annoyed um but luckily, God's there to catch me when I fall, and I definitely fell. Luckily, not that hard, because it was just weed. But, uh... <laughs> I, uh, I didn't smoke any marijuana for, like, two and a half months. And then, like, my friend Sharonda was gonna come here and stay with me, right? I requested time off from work. I got weed. <laughs> Bitch didn't even show up, because she got drunk with her brother. Because, uh... Her brother's birthday was like the day before hers. So I knew this shit was gonna happen where she was gonna get fucked up and do something. And she wrecked her fucking car in Memphis. So she never showed up. But I had already smoked all the weed that I bought for that occasion. <laughs> Which is funny. You guys were there with me. Do you remember? Big ass truck. Actually, it's not a big ass truck. It's like a minor, a minor truck compared to the big ass trucks of like, you know, the semi. The semi truck. The monster truck. It is a big truck though. It's like a wide truck. You know what I'm talking about? Hold up. See that? Going back to me. Sorry y'all. I know you really, really, really wanted to focus on that. That big ass truck. <laughs> it's just got one of those wheels that like come out. It's like, why would you make a vehicle like that? That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. I mean, I didn't invent the car, so who am I, right? But, <laughs> what was I saying? Stand up. Yeah, you're going to do stand up. I'm going to do stand up and I realized something. Just, I've been reading the Bible again. Pretty cool, huh? So I just decided, like the other day, I decided to cut my hair and I smoked all this weed. And it was like on a day when I like called out sick because I felt like shit, right? But the thing is, I felt like shit because of my fucking habits, because of the stuff I've been eating, because of like sleeping at weird ass hours and shit. And it's like, I, I know that I go into like a place that is I mean, it's not really that scary to me, but it's just sort of like, I'm very unproductive. I, the lull, I go to the lull pretty much. Like, but I tell myself that I'm gonna be super productive. <laughs> but I was like, dude, like you can't just keep doing this with weed or, or you're like not gonna do anything else. And that's the biggest argument that I have about marijuana. Um, and so, I mean, I'm not saying that everybody's like this. I know that I'm like this because I have schizophrenia, but I don't, I know that like I was on my way to schizophrenia, like before weed, because like the quiet borderline personality is always like in their own head and schizophrenics are always in their own head. So it's like. It's a, it's a really cool juxtaposition disorder. <laughs> but, uh... Anyway. You like, you like the slide? I didn't do it. I didn't fucking do it. 
<laughs> Gotta give credit where credit's due. Thanks, government. Thank you so much. <laughs> Who would pay for the road? <laughs> I love it. I love these, these arguments. Speaking of arguments, I'm probably gonna get into an argument tonight. So that's, that's why I justified buying a cigarillo. Well, technically, of two. Yes, technically. But see, no, I told myself, like, really, I'm on a high resolve. Get it? But see, I told myself that I can only do edibles. See, this is how you figure shit out, you guys. You don't rely on a fucking doctor and you just ask yourself a bunch of questions and you do a bunch of shit that doesn't work out. And then eventually, you figure something out. A lot of people don't want to do that, though. I guess because they're afraid of failing. But it's like you're... You're failing by not trying to do it yourself. I'm not saying never ask for help, but I say only ask for help when it's absolutely necessary. Like, I don't disagree with the government helping people that need it. What I disagree with is people, uh, you know, taking advantage of that. You think that they won't take advantage of that? I mean, I don't, I don't get how people don't see how that's a much stronger possibility than, you know, people not taking advantage of something that, that's easy to take advantage of. Um, I mean, I know this from my own personal experience. Like, when I was an alcoholic, I uh, had food stamps. And I called them boo stamps! <laughs> and let me tell you something. I'm willing to bet money that I don't have. Where are your tax dollars going? Russia! Probably towards that Kavanaugh hearing. Or like another round two, Brett Kavanaugh. Let's have a let's have a Brett Kavanaugh false accusation reunion. Let's do that. <laughs> and then let's make fun of him because he gets angry because his wife and daughters are targeted by haters and protesters and losers and fucking whiners and lame ass pieces of shit and fucking anybody and everybody on the fucking internet. You know, I get it. All those pictures of him make him look really stupid, though, I'll say that. He still looks like he's eight. So, like, I can make fun of Brett Kavanaugh in a way that, you know, I'm just gonna make fun of his stupid-ass face. <laughs> but I'm not gonna say that he raped anybody, because I don't think that he did. I don't think he did fucking shit. And, like, here's the thing, you guys. Even if he did do anything, what are they accusing him of? He exposed himself when he was drunk at, like, a frat house? Is that, like, what they're bitching about? Like, really? <laughs> or was this new person that came forward that didn't actually come forward? It was actually just made up and the Times had to correct themselves. Um, oh my god. It's just ridiculous. See, that's the thing. I don't want to get into an argument with my friend Eddie tonight, which is why I brought my weed. See, I haven't smoked any weed in, like, the past few days because, uh... I know that it's it's not good for me to smoke it. Like I can eat it once I get my other shit done. Like I cleaned a bunch of shit when I woke up. So, booyah. <laughs> Back to black. <laughs> yeah, we always back to black. Please don't get offended by that. Cultural appropriation isn't an insult. I know that it's perceived as an insult because white people don't really do black things very well, you know? It's like certain things just work on certain people. Like for example, a dress looks really good on a woman. Probably not on a man though, you know? <laughs> I mean, if the dude gets, gets a bunch of shit done though, he can look good in that dress. And if he turns himself into a she, it's like, I feel like I have way more respect for people that, that go through all that, that process. Because <laughs> it's a very long, arduous process, right? Gender transitioning. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of money. That's like a lot of fucking hormone shit going on. See, I already got enough hormone shit going on. That's why I never even fucked with it. But I do feel more like a man than a woman. But I would say that I'm, I don't want to call myself a tranny because I'm not, I'm not a, like as much as I fantasize about having a penis, I'm not going that far, you know? <laughs> and it's weird. I don't even like, ooh, ooh, Fiona got molested again. Um, 
This is amazing, you guys. This is the first time this has ever happened. There is a person next to me that's going slower than I am. <laughs> really is amazing. But I kind of like want to speed up because I want to get ahead of them because I don't understand why they're doing this shit that I've already complained about on other YouTube videos, right? I think that they're way back there though. That's the thing, that's what they look like. I don't know, man. I think you can stay in this lane anyway, it's fine. Yeah, okay, okay, I'll stay in this fucking lane. You convinced me. Actually, no, fuck that. I'm moving, I'm moving. <laughs> I like how you made an announcement as if any of them heard you as if there's like a megaphone attached to the back of your fucking car <laughs> moving <laughs> they need to do that they really do that would be cool they'll probably confuse the fuck out of people if they didn't know what it was <laughs> wait where is that coming from Oh shit. See, there are a lot of cars around me now. That's why you get some light, baby. That's why you get some light. What was I saying? Cultural appropriation. Yeah, like, for example, white people with dreadlocks look pretty stupid. Like, they do. And that's why I fucking chop my hair off. Because, like, yeah, my, my hair was matting. It was dreading. And, uh, it just didn't look good. <laughs> and it's like that year, like that time, that time of year, you know, where I'm just like, time to do something crazy and impulsive. And uh, so that's that's what I did. It's so easy to cut my hair too. And like I notice that it's uneven sometimes, and I I, I cut it some more. But I don't care, man. You know what's funny, though? Is that I made this, this huge deal about, like, going to salon. I don't know if you watched that video, but I, I did this huge rant about, like, how stupid it is to go to salon. How much extra work it would take from my life to go to a hair salon. Guess what, y'all? No joke? This motherfucking hair salon is literally right next door to my condo. Like, <laughs> there's this place next door... I think it used to be a funeral home, uh, but it has not succeeded. Like any business that has, has tried moving in there has not succeeded. And the most recent one is a place called My Mom and Me, and it's a hair salon. They're not going to fucking last either. Um, they just need it to be another funeral home, right? Well, I was thinking about buying it and turning it into a fucking comedy club. Because <laughs> how cool would it be to have a comedy club at a fucking funeral home? You know? If all people need a lab, it's people at a motherfucking funeral. I know that you understand that. Vortex. <laughs> Do you feel like I kill you every time that I end a video? <laughs> See, this is interesting. Because, like, the way that you shoot videos is interesting because it's like you're breaking the fourth wall or whatever the fuck they call it. Is that what they call it? The fourth wall. <laughs> Everything's got a wall involved, does it not? <laughs> uh, speaking of President Trump. <laughs> I am indifferent at this point. I've loved him. I've never really hated Trump. You know how people say, we love him, we hate him. No, everybody hates Trump or they love Trump. But uh, I, uh, I, I've, I've loved uh, his vernacular. I love his appeal. I love like the way that he's totally himself. And you can, you can say that, oh, well, he's a piece of shit. And I'm like, well, openly and honestly a piece of shit, buddy, because... <laughs> At least, he'll tell you exactly, like, if, if, he, if he does something fucked up, it's like he'll just, like, defend it. You know, or he just, he doesn't back down. 
That's what I like about it. He doesn't back down. And like there are all these other people that, that have and will and they'll continue to do that. And that's the problem with politics in general. Um, but uh, that's a problem with it. a lot of people, you know, because they, they don't really have like morals and ethics that they stick by. And so if you don't have that that you stick by, that's what, what, what us weirdos call conservatism. It's where, I mean, a lot of people are conservative, not in the way that I am. But I don't think that conservatism is like this like non-binary shit, you know, where you can just like say whatever the fuck you want and then you call it conservatism. Um, like, cause you could say I'm conservative in my own life, but what does that mean to you, you know? Everybody's, like nothing means anything anymore. That's what I'm saying. Like we used to have, like, I, I guess, Maybe this never used to exist. Maybe it was all in my mind. I don't know. <laughs> right? <laughs> you just don't even know anymore. Because everything's conflated. I'm just as confused as everybody else, and I think that I know what the fuck's going on, you know? So, it's funny, because, like, I just think that people are confused about other shit. They're not confused about the right shit, basically. Are you going the right way? Well, I sure should hope so, man. <laughs> Otherwise, I have no idea where the fuck I'm going. Oh yeah, yeah, we should slow down. There's always cops over here. 55, right? Yeah, man, it's 55, and hopefully this motherfucker behind me will leave. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Good fucking riddance, bitch. <laughs> it's 55, you're right? You didn't even look. I know I didn't. I didn't look that time. But see, I looked at my rear view. It doesn't count! It doesn't count when you're on the interstate. You stupid twat. <laughs> I probably should end this video though, because I gotta I gotta pray about this shit. Okay, so I, I had this idea, right? And not just like let's bring a cigarillo and smoke with our socialist friend. Yeah, he's a socialist. I know he's a socialist. He won't fucking admit it, but he is. <laughs> He likes Bernie! He's a socialist! That's fine! That's fine, you can like Bernie, it's fine. I like Bernie too, I just don't like him for the same reason you do. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I just love that! I fucking love it! <laughs> like really, like all this shit is so funny. Like why aren't people laughing more, you know? Hi. <laughs> Got a small favor to ask of you. <laughs> I can't stop laughing at that. It's just so ridiculous. I mean, this is politics, though. That's the way things are, baby. Like, it's just... Like, this is the stuff that you see. This is stuff that you're, like, exposed to, like, on a daily, hourly, millisecondly basis. You know? It's just... Shove down your fucking throat. I guess I like Bernie Sanders though because he seems like he's genuine. I don't agree with him on like anything, but he seems like he's genuinely uh, strong in his position. So, never thought I'd say that. just did. Okay, I'm gonna end this video though because I just made a decision to freak me out. Um, and I probably should pay attention to the road. So, um, but oh yeah, yeah, you're gonna tell him your idea. I was gonna tell him my idea. No, you can stay in this line, you're fine. Okay, so my idea was, um, Not just smoke weed with other people. Because <laughs> if I smoke with myself, it's a goddamn crowd, right? That's why I do it so much. That's why I behave like a fucking addict. And why does that person not have their fucking headlights on? That's silly. They look like they're both burned out, actually. 
They need to get that checked. They're going to get pulled over. Anyway. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Sorry, I hate it when people call each other buddy. I don't know why I just adopted that. So sorry. So sorry. Um, but uh, my new idea was that, um, well, whenever I get stressed out or whenever I can't accomplish anything, I, which is weird, that getting stressed out and not being able to accomplish anything, I mean, it, I guess that is a significant reason to be stressed out is because you're, you feel like you have all this stuff going on, but you can't do anything with it. Well, whenever I get like that, I just, I just add more. And so I was like, why don't you just do that shit? Like any time that you feel like you, sorry, I just thought I saw the 5 and it freaked me the fuck out. I think it's just some person pulled over to the side of the road, but I realized that like what I'm doing is very suspicious. Um, <laughs> anyway, my idea was Add more to the table. Make it a buffet. Turn it into, you know, like the last supper. So that's what I'm attempting to do with my comedy. So I'm just like, take the whiteboard, take the keyboard, take your markers, take every fucking joke book you have, um, <laughs> take a banana. Um, I got my toothpicks, I got my coffee, I got my weed. You already know, I don't have my cell phone. Unless it's, it's hiding somewhere or I put it on my car and it flew off um I hate phones though so and I already wrote down my dealer's number so oh my insurer I forgot about it anyway I'm gonna go because this video is almost gonna be over anyway and um see where we are this is East Nashville, folks. Straight ahead, motherfucking ghetto. Wish me luck.